major setbacks in court today for embattled Congressman Duncan Hunter. A judge rejected his defense team's push to get the campaign fraud charges against him dismissed. And it appears the upcoming trial will stay in San Diego. 10 News reporter John Horn is live at the federal courthouse downtown. John, tense moments inside and outside the courtroom today. Absolutely, Kimberly. They started just right over here when Congressman Hunter came right over this ramp and then walked through the doorway. He was swarmed by protesters and supporters. Then up on the third floor, more tense moments as Hunter's attorneys tried to get the judge to dismiss the case. One key reason, because two of the prosecutors took a photo with Hillary Clinton at a fundraiser in 2015. Now, that's an argument you may have heard before. The congressman himself repeatedly makes it as he attacks the prosecutors. He's been doing it throughout the process. Now, Judge Thomas Whelan rejected it once and for all today, saying no objective, reasonable person would conclude that Department of Justice attorneys had a conflict of interest, especially given the evidence against the congressman. Now, Hunter is charged with misusing $250,000 in campaign contributions for lavish vacations, living expenses, and funding alleged extramarital affairs with five women since he took office. His wife, Margaret, pleaded guilty last month and could testify against him at trial. Now, Judge Whelan rejected multiple motions from Hunter's defense team to dismiss the case and appeared to reject a request to have it moved out of San Diego County, saying that would only happen if it was impossible to get an impartial jury. Meanwhile, both sides made their presence known outside court. It's the way he treated his wife, the excuses he makes. As my congressman, he is, as far as I'm concerned, we're paying him $180,000 a year to do nothing. In America, a man is innocent until proven guilty. We haven't had a jury trial here. The, the trial is expected to start September 10th and could take up to four weeks. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll hear from Duncan Hunter Sr. We spoke to him as he walked out of the courtroom after the judge rejected that political motivation argument. Why he is doubling, tripling down on it, that's coming up on 10 News at 6. But for now, live outside the federal courthouse downtown, John Horn, 10 News. All right, more at 6. Thank you, John.